look now again another miracle demoniac at Gadara Matthew chapter 8 verse 28 so Matthew 8 when he reached the, the territory of Gadarenes on the other side two demoniacs came toward him out of the tomb they were dangerously violent that nobody could use that path it's a miracle. Suddenly they shouted, What do you want with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torture us? Now some distance away, there was a large crowd heard of pigs feeding, and the devils pleaded with Jesus, If you drive us out, send us into the herds. So that is Ma Matthew chapter 8, 28 to 34. We also have it in Mark chapter 5, verse 1. So we get Mark chapter 5, verse 1. They reach the territory of Genazareth on the other side of the lake. And when he disembarked, a man with an unclean spirit at once came out of the tomb towards him. The man lived in the tomb and no one could secure him anymore, even with chains, because it had often, he had often been secured and he had broken them all night and all day. He would howl and gash himself with stone. So this is a cure of, but a completely different one. And then we have Luke chapter 8. 8 verse 26. Luke chapter 8 verse 26. They came to land in the territory of Genazareth, uh, which is opposite Galilee. He stepped out, he stepped ashore. As he stepped ashore, when a man from the city who was possessed by devils came toward him for a long, for a long time, the man had been living with no clothes on, not in a house, but in the tomb. So this, this um, one is similar to what we have in Mark. Matthew now gives something completely different. Nonetheless, it shows us Jesus demonstrating power over the clutches of the evil one. And as we read that miracle story, we ask, Lord, to come and take hold of our lives. Some of us may have some relative, some member of our family who, as we, well, we don't want to cast us version, who behavior is so terrible that like we say, well, like, like there's a demon some of us may have some kind of addiction, like we cannot come out of it. We turn to the Lord and say, Master, we cannot do it on our own, but you come and deliver. You come and remove that stain. You come, and as I said earlier on, deliver us from the clutches of the evil one and bring us to calm so that we can see your face to face. We also pray for those who have chronic illness. Sometimes doctors cannot find cure. They take you for so many tests. Nothing is happening that you, Jesus, would send a healing upon all of them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.